in the vast and unpredictable waters of our world, fish are often revered for their beauty, sustenance, and ecological importance. However, beneath the tranquil facade lies a potential danger that has claimed the lives of many unsuspecting individuals. In this video, we dive into the depth of this treacherous waters to explore the harrowing tales of those who met their untimely demise at the hand of these aquatic creatures. From the ferocious predators lurking in the shadows to the venomous inhabitants of the deep, each encounter serves as a chilling reminder of the inherent risks of venturing into the domain of the fish. Prepare to be captivated, shocked, and perhaps even vary of the creatures that inhabit the world's oceans, lakes, and rivers. Welcome to our exploration of the unsettling reality of people who tragically lost their lives to fish. Steve Irving On September 4, 2006, Steve Irving, also known as the Crocodile Hunter, was filming an underwater documentary titled Ocean's Deadliest near the Great Barrier Reef in Queensland, Australia. During a break in filming, Irving and his crew encountered a large stingray, estimated to be around 2 meters in width. Irving, known for his fearless approach to wildlife encounters, decided to approach the stingray to capture footage for the documentary. As he swam above the stingray, the animal suddenly became defensive and lashed out, striking Irving in the chest with its sharp, barbed tail. The stingray's bar penetrated Irvin's chest, causing a puncture wound that pierced his heart. Despite the efforts of the crew to administer first aid, Irvin succumbed to his injuries and was pronounced dead at the scene. Irvin's untimely passing left a profound impact on the conservation community and the public. With many mourning, the loss of a beloved figure was dedicated his life to raising awareness about wildlife conservation and the importance of preserving natural habitats. His legacy continues to inspire generations of animal lovers worldwide. Macon Bonani da Silva On April 19, 2013, Macon Bonani da Silva, a 20-year-old Brazilian fisherman, tragically lost his life in a harrowing encounter with a swarm of piranhas while fishing in the Araguaia River located in the state of Tacantes, Brazil. Bonani da Silva had ventured out onto the river alone, hoping to catch fish to support himself and his family. However, his fishing trip took a devastating turn when he accidentally slipped and fell into the river immediately attracting the attention of nearby piranhas. The aggressive school of piranhas, known for their razor-sharp teeth and voracious feeding habits, swiftly descended upon Bonani da Silva, attacking him with ferocity. Despite his attempts to defend himself, he was overwhelmed by the sheer number of piranhas and the severity of their bites. By the time help arrived, it was too late to save Bonani da Silva. His body was retrieved from the river, bearing numerous bite marks and injuries inflicted by the piranhas. Gary Johnson On June 15, 2017, tragedy struck when Gary Johnson, a 49-year-old British tourist, was enjoying a leisurely swim in the crystal clear waters of the coast of Thailand. Little did he know, that his encounter with the box jellyfish would turn deadly in a matter of moments. As Johnson frolicked in the warm tropical waters, a box jellyfish, one of the most venomous marine creatures known to man, silently glided nearby. In a swift and unexpected attack, the jellyfish tentacles brushed against Johnson's skin, releasing a potent venom that quickly took hold. The venom of the box jellyfish is known to cause excruciating pain, paralysis, and, in severe cases, cardiac arrest. Johnson's body reacted swiftly to the toxic steam, experiencing paralysis that rapidly spread throughout his body. 
despite efforts by nearby swimmers and lifeguards to render aid and administer first aid measures, Johnson's condition deteriorated rapidly. Emergency medical services were summoned and Johnson was rushed to a nearby hospital. However, by the time medical personnel arrived, it was already too late. Johnson had succumbed to the effects of the box jellyfish venom. Slipping away into the depth of the ocean, he had been enjoying just moments before. Nudapong Sadi Thapthap In 2018, along the tranquil banks of the Mekong River in Thailand, Nutapong embarked on a routine fishing expedition, eager to cast his nets into the murky depths in search of a bountiful catch. Little did he know that this peaceful outing would soon take a terrifying turn, culminating in a deadly encounter with one of the river's most formidable inhabitants. As man patiently awaited the telltale tug of his fishing line, the calm water suddenly erupted in chaos as a colossal shadow loomed beneath the surface. With a thunderous splash, a massive codfish, its sleek form glistening in the sunlight, surged forth from the depth, its immense size dwarfing man's modest fishing vessel. In a heart-stopping moment of terror, the gargantuan catfish lashed out with astonishing speed and ferocity its razor-sharp teeth and powerful jaws clamping down on Nudapong with relentless force. With a desperate cry, a fisherman found himself dragged beneath the churning waters. He struggles futile against the overwhelming strength of his aquatic assailant. Despite his valiant efforts to break free from the catfish's wise-like grip, Man soon found himself ensnared in a deadly underwater struggle for survival. The monstrous fish, driven by primal instinct, dragged him deeper in the dark depth of the Mekong River, its powerful movements propelling them both further from the safety of the shore. As the waters closed over his head and his strength waned, Nudabong's frantic gasps for air went unheard silenced by the suffocating embrace of the river's embrace. In the end, the relentless onslaught of the giant catfish proved too much to bear, and Nudapong succumbed to the icy embrace of the Mekong's dabs. His life tragically cut short by a chance encounter with one of the nature's most formidable predators. Richard Slater in the balmy waters of the coast of Florida, Richard Slater, a spirited American tourist, sought respite from the sweltering heat by taking a refreshing dip in the azure embrace of the ocean. Little did he know that his leisurely swim would soon descend into a harrowing ordeal, forever etched in the annals of maritime tragedy. As Slater ventured further from the sun-drenched shore, Drawn by alley of the boundless expanse of the open sea, a shadowy presence lurked beneath the surface, biding its time with predatory patience. Unbeknownst to Slater, a formidable bull shark, its sleek form a silent sentinel of the death, lay in wait, its primal instincts attuned to the slightest disturbance of the tranquil waters above. With a sudden burst of speed, the bull shark surged forth from its watery domain, propelled by a primal hunger that brooked no resistance. In a heartbeat, Slater found himself ensnared in the vice-like grip of the shark's razor-sharp teeth, its powerful jaws closing around him with a bone-chilling ferocity. The tranquil serenity of the ocean was shattered by Slater's desperate cries for help, as he grappled with the relentless onslaught of his aquatic assailant. With each trash and twist, the shark's grip tightened, its serrated teeth rending flesh and bone with terrifying efficiency. Despite Slater's violent struggle for survival, the relentless assault of the bull shark proved insurmountable. As the waters turned crimson with blood, 
and the ocean echoed with anguished cries of the doomed swimmer. Slather's desperate pleas for mercy went unanswered, drowned out by the primal fury of nature's most feared predator. In the aftermath of the tragic incident, Slater's lifeless body washed ashore, a grim testament to the unforgiving power of the natural world. Those terrifying incidents serve as a sobering reminder of the precarious balance between man and beast, and the ever-present dangers that lurk beneath the surface of the ocean's depth.